Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm doing a quick vlog today. We're actually right outside of uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, and it's because me and my friend Ryan, say hi Ryan. Lowe's Home Depot. Home Improvement. Um, we decided to build like a what? I want to do a 20 foot selfie stick. A really unnecessarily long selfie stick. But, I don't know, just be fun. Put a GoPro up there, we'll have some fun. So let's do the build, have some fun. Yeah. There are so many pipe options. It's interesting. I mean, we can go massive pipe, like cannon type, or we can, I wish you had a metal bar. <laughs> That's a little too uh, floppy for what we need. A Floppy's a good word. But, um, so our goal is to try and take one of these PVC type pipes. They're pretty big, these are in a bundle. And uh, link them together so we can create a selfie stick. So I think we found the perfect one. We've got a, it's 10 feet, you know, right there. So we're gonna go 20 feet on this, figure out some way we're gonna buy a, a shit ton of duct tape and some kind of these random, Look like things you play as a kid. I don't know. Like it's like through. Tetris. You have some Tetris. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. But we'll, uh, we'll we'll see. But I think we have the culprit here. It's only like five bucks, something like that per ten feet. We'll see. So I think we finally figured it out. We got a little smaller pipey to go into the bigger pipey, and that should hold the camera. We'll see. We had a very hard time with this, or I did. But it's not the size that matters, right? Well. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's why I'm also single. My life. He's vlogging. I have to be quiet. The pipe right now. I'm lugging this thing. I'm literally clotheslining everyone. Yeah. And um, I think we just found the duct tape that we need. And uh, we can go from there. Oh, let's get the polka dot ones. They're cheaper up top. Uh, it's not gonna hold. Lady, it lady hold. dotty ones. It it's not gonna hold. It's okay. It's scotch tape anyway. It's the best kind, but it's Hashtag more. Nah, we'll go cheap kind. <laughs> We're a budget friendly channel here, folks. So we made it back to the apartment, and here are the components that we have to uh, do this build. We have a little coupling thing, which uh, we don't know the size. I've got the SJ Cam uh, M10 Plus that we're gonna use to mount with one of the mounts I hope we're gonna destroy. We've got a quarter 20, maybe 10 foot pipe here, and then another size right here. Then. That's it, that's all we need for this. Uh, and we have Gorilla Tape, so wish us luck. We mainly have it right now, here's kind of the preliminary as Cooper, Ryan's dog, is- What is he, stop it. Biting the end of the selfie stick. But this is, uh, this like is what we got right now. It is definitely Jimmy rigged, which is what it was. And uh, we just gotta figure out how to attach the SJ cam to the top of that, which I think we're just gonna use a a ton of gorilla tape and uh, go from there. I'm sorry, Casey, that we're not that good. I'm also sorry to Jesse because he'd be sad with this as well. But it's bad. I mean, look, people. Some height and distance. It's big. That's for sure. So we did figure it out. As you saw, we really got this bad boy on there. A ton of tape. Hopefully, it's good enough because we're going to take this outside. And if it falls off, it'll just break. So. Let's do it. And here we go, we're outside now. We have the monstrosity laying on the ground. Literally the monster. And we're just gonna take the, uh, the SJ cam, do some little quick things, take some photos, see how it turns out. Obviously throw them in here for you. So let's go to the wide shot and look at us being silly, holding us uh, 20 feet worth of a selfie stick. We think it was a success. 
Uh, we both had some luck with it. The photos might be a little tight because we couldn't go as low as we wanted. But as I said, you'll be seeing them on the screen right now. So uh, we'll see how it comes out. But for literally under, what, 20 bucks? Yeah. For under $20, we essentially built a overhead camera, if you want to say that, and a 20-foot uh, selfie stick. I'm not torturing a dog. That's the dog. Cooper disapproves. So you just saw us a second ago, but it's actually the next day. Uh, one of the cool things is we have a flea market or a farmer's market that no one goes there to farm or anything. Um, and we're driving up to Columbus, New Jersey today to go to that. You've never seen that yet in a vlog or anything. And I'm trying to look for just old cameras. That's it. So I'm gonna see what I can do with $4 today. My friend is making a Wawa run right now. If you don't know what that is and you're not from like the East Coast and New Jersey, basically it's a super awesome store. That you can get stuff in and get great food, even though people are like, oh, it's, an, it's a fast food place. Yeah, but they've got bang and mac and cheese. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to the flea market today. I'm gonna see what we can find. We love going to this one. It usually gets pretty busy, but it's just the middle of freaking nowhere. So it's a good like 40 minute drive. You're not gonna really see much because I'm the one that's driving the car. So uh, we'll see what we can find there. Let's find some gems. We are right now over at the the Columbus flea market and basically it's like an outdoor playground full of stuff you can buy or sell so there's three things I mainly look for it's free stuff that people leave when when they leave two it's well sports jerseys or sports memorabilia I used to collect a lot of sports jerseys and three old photography gear so let's take a stroll around and see what's here there's a lot that goes into knowing how to be at a flea market and what to look for. One of my things is to kind of keep a pace and to feel at the tables. I've been to enough now to know what what table's gonna have what. You see like a lot of the toys and stuff like that, you know that's not for you. And there's like older and newer sections where like things are packaged in a newer section. But with the older section, it's, you know, it's any game. Like you'll have video games and like, like unicorn statues and stuff like that or old car parts or you know old advertising so it's just knowing how to play the game and what to look for and see what you're finding like one place I found a, a table that had an expired film in it and I was like maybe that had cameras but they didn't so it's knowing what to do what to look for and it's chaotic then this is where you find like rare gems and older used stuff is like these ten dollar racks that people have like sports jerseys for days also if you've never been to like a flea market type of thing or a farmer's market you get like all like the lemonade stands and you have like these big like huts and everything that house more people with tables upon tables but like as i said there's a new section which is like all new organized stuff and then you get to the old section which is what we love because it could just be chaos it could be just shit all over the tables not literal shit but like product stuff and it's usually cheap so I say I have like four bucks because I just try to whittle down as much as I can. This is the bargaining section. If I see any cool cameras, I'll show you. If not, this will be a very short portion of the vlog. How much is that uh that Polaroid right there? Ten dollars. Ten bucks? Yeah, they do work. I actually used the this one here not too long ago. Matter if I there. Sometimes prices are too hard to pass up. Yeah, I'll snag that for uh, I'll snag that for ten. Dude, ten bucks for something like this? Be looking for that one. I don't ever like my friend Ryan was just saying like I don't ever pay like full price whatever someone asks. But when you know you got a deal on something, uh, you got a deal. But ten bucks for that Polaroid camera it was in like clean condition. Uh, it's a no brainer. But also. It looks like the old like Instagram logo. It has that look that uh, that stripe going down. So I don't know. It just looks cool and it adds ever more to the collection. Let's see if we can get something else, but very cheap. Here's Obama. Actually, let me ask you as well. What do you look for when you go to flea markets? What do you search for? What's your go-to? Let me know down below. That that little group right there is a lot of stuff you find, like a lot of the old plastic film cameras and everything like that. Some stuff I always look for is like the leather cases and stuff like that you'll never know what you'll find but other than that it's uh people just asking for overpriced stuff for no reason some more cameras and polaroid stuff uh, 
we are still getting through this right here and it is scorching hot but um it looks like my battery is dying on this so if it does then this will probably be the last clip you'll see of the day because there's nothing else exciting happening later except like eating so if it is you saw the score that i had but if anything else you will see thanks for watching as always and i'll see you in the next video what?